Community member season two would like to know if um, one side chain has performance problems or the main chain has performance problems, if this is impacting the wider ecosystem of LISC with the blockchain interoperability solution being implemented. So in our case, we have the main chain, which acts sort of like a hub for the LISC ecosystem through which all the transactions are being channeled, um, which are intended to be sent from one sidechain to another sidechain. Um, and obviously this is also the case for any transaction cross-chain which is being sent from the main chain to a side chain or from a side chain to a main chain. Um, and that's why this is a very good question. Um, the main benefit in our case is that every blockchain application built on the Lisp platform is really running in their own blockchain. That means no matter how much volume this blockchain application will generate, how many transactions are happening on that one network, the rest of the LISC ecosystem is totally unaffected. The only situation where um, our ecosystem can take a hit is through cross-chain transactions, not through regular usage of individual blockchain applications. And I assume that, for example, if we have one blockchain application, which is a game, um, that people will transfer, let's say, the LSK token into that sidechain in order to purchase um, trading cards or whatever that game is about. Um, but I think once they do it and did it, um, they will just leave their tokens on that sidechain because they're going to use this blockchain application. There's no real incentive to send tokens back and forth constantly between different chains on our ecosystem, on our blockchain application platform. Um, the only um, real reason they have to do it um, is probably um, to use a blockchain application or to exchange it on a decentralized exchange or to pull a token from maybe an insecure sidechain to a more secure one, maybe because it's not being actively developed anymore or there was a bug in the, in the blockchain code or whatever it is. Um, and yeah, through that um, cross blockchain um, transaction, um, there could be a, like a, a bottleneck on the platform when people are sending too many of those. Um, with the introduction of our new consensus algorithm, our new fee system and byte-based blocks, uh, however, I think our scalability is very good to um, counter an increased workload on our platform. If we are taking a look at the Ethereum platform, it can currently process around 1 million transactions per day. And with the LISC Core 3.0 deployment, our network will be able to facilitate the same amount of transactions on one blockchain. So if we are comparing now the most popular smart contract on the Ethereum network, which uh, is, I think, currently Uniswap, then I saw some statistics a while back uh, that Uniswap users were sending around 600,000 transactions per day. So they were already capturing 60% of the block capacity of the processing capacity of the entire network. In our case, um, I assume that a minimal fraction of such transactions would actually be just cross-chain transactions into the sidechain of the stacks. And the majority of those transactions are just regular transfers um, or exchanges between the tokens. Um, so if we would assume we have a similar amount of users and a similar amount of transactions, they would all happen in the sidechain and the main chain and any other sidechain would not be affected by it. Um, but well, due to the huge amount of users, obviously they would send around tokens between different sidechains into um, the DEX or from the main chain to the DEX, um, their LSK token. But like comparable speaking, that's much, much less um, than uh, the transactions which would occur natively on the sidechain. So I guess like 
looking at our ecosystem then with many different sidechains connected to it, um, we could like speaking um, like entirely of the platform facilitate hundreds of millions of transactions per day while um, still being able to facilitate many, many thousands, ten thousands of transactions from one chain to another chain each day as well. And I guess that would be enough. Um, there will be a fee market. It will be competitive to um, get into the, the blocks. Um, but I assume this will by far be less constraining and less expensive than it's currently the case on Ethereum. So we are going to see a huge improvement in that regard. Um, so to answer the question, there can be situations and edge cases where the performance is being impacted, but not by native sidechain transactions, which are happening only on the sidechain, but if then only by transactions which are happening from the main chain to the side chain or from one side chain over the main chain to another side chain and these will occur much less than all these other transactions so i think we should be fine for several years if we're not going to be fine anymore i think we have very different problems to take a look at because our ecosystem will have grown to millions of users and will be thriving and will be very successful um, and before that happens, we're um, like going to see um, that like we're arriving at the limits and then we can act before we're actually arriving at, at the end of the limit um, and it can lead to problems. So I think everything is very good in these cases. Sidechain technology um, is helping the scalability of our entire platform um, and we will be able to facilitate uh, on the main chain and all side chains together like basically an unlimited amount of transactions depending on the number of side chains connected to the main chain with a linear uh, Im increase of scalability per chain uh, which i said in the beginning is around 1 million transactions per day